What's up, my ninjas? This tutorial is for the daisy chain with the rope dart, which is a fun, cool way to carry a rope dart on you. Um, for me, like I'm on a bus or riding my skateboard or on a bike, hiking, what have you. Um, I prefer not to use a daisy chain when I'm storing my rope dart for travel or just keeping it in my backpack because sometimes the loops can become actual knots for one reason or another and it's a bit of a pain in the ass to have to unravel them and deal with all that when you want to spin. Um, the way that I learned it is I'll let it dangle. I'm going to start at the head of the rope dart. I'm going to reach around the front of the rope, kind of make the scooping motion to make this loop on my hand. I'm going to pull the rope through that loop, like so. And then I'm going to grab the rope again, pull it through the loop, make another loop, grab the rope, pull it through, and just repeat that process. Make a loop, pull the rope through, over and over again until I get to my wrist loop. Uh, normally I'll wear my daisy chain as kind of like a sash. You can wear it as a belt if you have a shorter rope. But I have, I usually have an oversized dart head, so I need to make sure that when I get to the end of my chain, I've got a big enough loop for my chain loop and my wrist loop that the head of my dart can pass through, like so. Sometimes my wrist loop will tighten up closer to the head just while I'm wearing it. And all you gotta do is just feed some slack into it so that you can pass the dart head back through that loop. But a very important thing to remember is to make sure, one second, that your wrist loop does not pass through your chain loop because then they become an actual knot and you've got a lot of hassle to deal with. So just make sure that they're separate from each other just like when you made the daisy chain. So that way when I release that chain loop, so if I was wearing it on my wrist, ready to dart, and spin with it at this shorter length, kind of like a chain whip or a long poi. You can still do shots and stuff like that. A popular way to go from daisy chain to rope dart is to like send a knee shot or an elbow shot. And right as you send that shot, release your chain loop and it unravels all the way out into dart length. Uh, there's a lot of fun things that you can do and ways to play with that. So feel free to explore. You can ask me questions and I can show you some stuff too. But I'll demonstrate one more time. Make sure that you get the dangle. Reach around, scoop, loop, pull. Loop, pull, loop, pull, loop, pull, over and over again until you get to your wrist loop, making sure that both your chain loop and your wrist loop are big enough to pass your dart head through. And then you can wear it like a belt or a sash from hip to shoulder, um, which is usually how I wear it. It's more comfortable that way. Um, lots of cool things to do with this and ways to play with it. So feel free to ask me questions if you need any help. And uh, I hope you enjoy playing with the daisy chain. Start life.